always, always remember the outcome of your success in this business always comes back to the fundamentals, not the cherry on the top, not the ancillary tangential thing that sounds lucrative, but doesn't really make that much of a substance, substantive difference. It always comes back to the fundamentals if you're going to experience success. So what are the fundamentals of insurance? Fundamentals of insurance come down to, number one, seeing the people, okay? When I say see the people, it's meaning that you've got to get in front of prospects. Never lose sight of how critically important that is. I would much rather have a okay agent that's not great but not bad who works and sees the people than a Tony Robbins charismatic type that's lazy and doesn't work, right? I don't care how charismatic you are, right? Your enthusiasm level is, you know, uh, off the chart. You're a sham wow guy, right? Like Bill the other day. I care more about your ability to get out there and make things happen, to put the inputs in to get the numbers of contacts, door knocks, phone calls, which will result in presentations, which will eventually hopefully result in sales, which typically do over the course of a longer period of time. You cannot lose sight that probably 75 to 80% of this business is seeing the people, okay? Maybe more. And that's in comparison with running a presentation. OK, one of the things I've learned, which you should know your presentation, that's certainly fundamental, know how to connect with people, know how to build value and close competently and confidently. That's a part of it. But that is a second position to the activity necessary to see the people. OK, so. Um, with that said, if you're not seeing the people, if you're not doing the fundamental effort and requirements to do well, I don't care if you're self-generating leads. I don't care if you think that your presentation is fantastic. I don't care if you're better than uh, on your presentation than 95% of the agents. If you don't see the people, this is all for naught, okay? So again, align your perspective with truly what matters. And what matters is what is the easiest route from A to B to get in front of prospects, whether you sell them over the phone, or if you see them in person, okay? Never, ever lose sight of that. That is the ultimate thing that matters. Now, one of the things, and this is kind of a perspective shift I've made over the past couple of months, is a recognition that, okay, if we're gonna say that the activity is important, the most important thing, then the, the scripting, the performance, the execution of getting those appointments is, is probably the next thing that's most important. So what I've been spending more time on, kind of preaching to the choir here, is the importance of getting your appointment setting, door knocking script, and opening to your telesales calls down pat 100% before you even start. If Again, and I'll have to update some of my training here, but at least onboarding process. I used to spend, I used to teach agents to spend in their pre preparation time, 80% of their time getting good at the presentation, which you should spend that time doing that. How, and then like maybe the last couple of days, rehearsing and reviewing the scripting to set the appointments and get in front of people. I'm not quite comfortable saying this, but I'm going to anyway. Um, and I haven't really thought through this, but I, I think this is more accurate than what we've currently got as our model. The vast majority of your time, maybe 80% of that in studying should be nailing the script to get in the door, nailing the script to get through the initial objections on a telesales call, nailing the script to set the appointment to see them in person. You should be spending way, way, way more time getting good at that than really your presentation, at least 50% or slightly more at the bare minimum. Why? Because the presentation doesn't matter if you can't get in. It, think about it. If you can't get in the, in, the, in the home, if you can't get through the initial objections on the telesis call, well, who cares about the rest of the presentation, right? And there are plenty of opportunities here. I mean, I've talked to agents for years and, and usually most agents say, hey, if I can just get the door, I've got a pretty good chance of closing them. And you guys are likely in that position too. And that doesn't mean that the presentation does not matter. It just doesn't matter nearly as much as the first initial beginnings getting that appointment, starting that telesales call. Without that, nothing matters. Just like without the activity, 
nothing matters, right? So we want to make sure that we focus on that those aspects more than anything. So if this is if you're new here on the call today, what does that mean? You well, first of all, you know you got to work hard. Hopefully that was clear before we started. Second thing is you got to work hard at getting good at appointment setting, door knocking, or if you're telesales, the initial 30 seconds. Okay. That's what you should be practicing over and over again. 